Right then, good morning everyone. We are back again. Well, I had a big long holiday you see, so that's the reason I stopped doing the videos. But now I'm back. Here we are with another bad job you can say. Oh well, someone tried it before. So what we're doing here right now is, it's because we're on commercials, right? This is what we do all the time. It's what you call the masonry support. That's what you call the masonry support, right? It's a steel, basically take all the brickworks away because it's got all, you got one, two, three, four, four more levels to go. So that steel will help as well. Uh, take the weight of the bricks basically that's what the engineer is saying and stuff like that you don't see these on house bashing and stuff like that or normal extension jobs the problem here now is see it should be a 10 mil gap 10 mil bed, uh, bed joint so what we've done is these cuts it's called pistols these are pistols basically it's a face it's a full brick but at the back is chopped off so I can sit on this right and i can have a 10 mil gap oh, i can have a 10 mil gap at the front like that and i can sit to the line basically however these are really really hard to lay they're not very easy so you can't lash like a thousand bricks of these or 500 either you'll be lucky to get 100 of these in a day it's a uh, it's, it's not very easy. We tried it already on Friday and it just gone boom. It just came out like that. Okay, so we've got a 10 mil there. And uh, it is to the line, but it's not to the line as well. But it's going to make it work basically, that's all it is. So some of these steels are out of level as well. up here these will work perfectly fine so the back's not chopped off so like here it will work basically like that it will work that will work perfectly fine uh, yeah that's what he's doing as well the lads are cutting it there that's Danny uh, the new labourer that's I'm on there right. Let's, let me show you how to lay these now make sure they're two two fives which there you go that's two two five there if I can do a bit higher, if I want to a little bit, a couple of mil higher, and not hurt us. But I would like to show you all, like, we have to cut these pistols like that, is because of that gap over here. If you can see it, I know it's 25 mil gap between. between the brickwork and the steel Sorry. there's about 25 mil gap between that brickwork and the steel so I have to try and make it look nice that's all it is and how are we going to do that? put loads of comp on there Go. See how you're just going down, boom, straight. That's what we don't want. I'm 
happy Dan later on once he gets dried off a little bit. But With these right, you're gonna lay it about 10-15, then go back over it and get it right. Obviously now you're gonna use the boat level to plumb it and that's it. This is something we're building at the minute, like that's basically. That's a sort of thing with building, so it's not your normal housing or whatever it is. It's uh, not, not a straightforward job. There you go, that's the plump, but that's it. On the next one. Tap him down. Tap him down in a minute. Go everywhere anyway. No, the hard work starts now. Oh, so they're moving. <coughs> One more thing a lot of people don't do is gauge the soldiers. If you look at it, I've marked my gauge, and uh, it's pretty much close. Do you know what I mean? That's how you should be. Make sure you're always getting your soldiers all the time. Right. Uh, we'll tap these down in a minute. You know, tap these ones down in a minute. Them ones there, you can see now. They ain't that bad. They ain't that bad. Could do it better. Could do it better, but you know. I mean. Thank <laughs> you. 
stops. The reason you have to plumb it is obviously you don't want your soldiers to go left, right, centre or everywhere but it's going to be another course of soldiers you see on top so you do want that soldier to go straight, not like that or like that so when you look at it, it's, it's straight do you know what I mean? not going that way or this way <sighs> a bit stiff obviously so you could dry it off a bit quicker and that helps us out well slightly if it was wet compo we would have no chance laying these um, yeah that's coming over let's see now can see now, see how that line and where they, they are, they, these bricks are, and where the line is, these ones come forward. As soon as you go over the lintels with these soldiers, pistol bricks, game over, lads, game over. Ah. After basically sort it out, and is a uh, In. There you go, that's better. And the next thing is these we go down. This can go down a bit more, as I said. Hopefully, it works out. Yep, there you go. It's better than what it was. So, you have to keep doing that all the way. Aman, how are you getting on? Let's check on Aman. How are you getting on, Aman? Struggling? No? Just fucking... It's not happy that bad, son. Some cut fucking... Uh, too small for yeah. deep. Some cut fucking this side. The you gotta redo the cuts then, basically? That's all it is? Yeah, I redo the cuts. Uh -huh. That side's alright. Let me see how it goes. See how it goes now. Welcome up the spot, No, he'll be alright there. He'll be alright there. So, since we've had another problem, and you know, I've got to have to sort out all the problems myself. That's what a bricklayer do. Put these uh, rails right in front of them, clamp them to the back. That's where the tie slots in, just in case nobody knows about it, you know what I mean? Because I know there's a lot of plenty of uh, house bashers around. Other than that, the commercial lads, uh, this is how the engineers do it, basically. It's that, these are the, these are the ties. They're not the best ties, you know what I mean? It goes in, it's like the them ones there. Basically like that. That's it, that's all it does. Uh, 
comes in different different sizes obviously but these rail these tracks I've used it so at least I can keep the straight line all the way above the lintel and if there's any movement I can always tap me in and out or whatever not I've laid them above the line obviously as I told you guys I've laid these above the line you can see you see these are the above lines do you know what I mean even that one there but then from that one from that brick hole over there onwards it's perfectly fine because I can tap it down back to level All right when I lay the, these ones as well I can tap these back down to level I can plumb them and everything so that's one way to get over these uh, soldiers it is a bit of a headache like I said you can't rush these you can't rush them you can't rush it otherwise uh, it's a game over for you it's game over if you rush these <coughs> see keep going then see what I'm on done over there is a uh, He's put wooden there, right, obviously. And uh, he clamped it. <laughs> and you're gonna use a line to hold him, basically. Is that what you're gonna do? He's struggling. <laughs> He's not having a very good Monday, is he? <laughs> it's not the best job for a Monday morning, but hey ho. It is what it is. Someone's got to do it. Maybe a good bricklayer will do it for you. Anybody else? They'll just leave the site probably. <laughs> there you go. One. So you can see now that all pretty much in line do you know what I mean they're all pretty much in line uh, if I have to which I do need to mess about with it like that I can all day long now there you go and then obviously later on I'm going to check if this well that's not bad is it that's not that bad I can get away with that you know what I mean? I, I, I gotta tap it in basically the bottom in. So that one is alright. He'll go over that. So when I tap these in, obviously, that will drop. These will drop. That's the reason I laid these soldiers above the line. It's not that I'm gonna leave him, do you know what I mean? But I've left them like that because it gives me extra bit of a room, extra little bit of play, I guess. And a lot of people don't do that. You realize it when you keep doing these uh, commercial jobs. You just learn how to get over problems. Ah. Monday morning, and I'm on my knees. Oh, uh, well. There you go. There you go now. Now we're talking. There you go. See? This can go down a bit now. I need to be that big of a bed. Shout.
sort that out. <sighs> anyway, I can sort some of these out now, obviously, because they're going to get dried off. There it is. So, here we are, They're all back to the line, I guess. Yeah, Obviously, I'm not gonna do these, I'm gonna lay a few, let them settle down a little bit, then tap them again. Hopefully, it will help me get over the problem you can see now. All these soldiers, spot on plum. There you go. There you go. Another one. There you go. Another one for plum. How you doing, Dan? I'm very well, very well, Ali. How are you? How are you? Oh, man, I'm back on my knees on Monday morning. I'm sorry. Not good. All right. It's all right. Right. Can you move that spot board to you, please, sir? And then, uh... Thank you. Right then. See how we packed it? Well, it's because these soldiers were coming over badly. And you can see him on side, he's checking now, making sure he hasn't come over. Even then, couldn't touch him really and truly yesterday. So today, we're going to take them off. And then join them up and hopefully they haven't moved since. Any good? Yeah. yeah. If you take that off, that'll go in a bit more. Do you know what I mean? Ain't that bad, is it? Ain't that bad compared to some of the stuff them lads over there have done. What are you saying, Dan? You good? Morning, guys. I'm good, I'm good. There you go. Good to go. Good to go. Uh, go on, then. Go on, this. Leave that over here for him. Mostly it's full anyway, so. Uh, underneath as well, the wood. Right, it's just a nightmare, this is. Nightmare job, but if I show you some of the stuff some other lads have done, obviously they've rushed it, you can see. And some of the work has to come down. That's why you can't rush these jobs, you see. You can't rush them, no chance. You'd rather take your time. Do it right. Actually, I'll leave that and I'll make a moment of the truth and let's see how good. Good with that. There, 
needs to come forward, isn't it? Then isn't it? No, no, no. Get away with that. Get away with that. Know what I mean? Yep, you'll get away with that. That's how it is. You know what I mean? It's this one here. It's got one. Mm. There go. I think that was too much now. That's excellent. So, if there's any, mm, even now, I wouldn't really and truly go extreme with this. Uh, so, I have to check, make sure every single one of them is perfectly fine. Well, not perfectly fine, but you know, uh, it is within half mil tolerance. Otherwise, the brickwork goes on top, and you'll know exactly if, if it's a trained bricklayer comes around on site or who looks at the work, you'll know exactly what's going on. Yeah, this one needs to tap the bottom in. This one. This one. Don't wanna don't wanna kick it too much you see because they might just go. You never know with these. Yeah. You get away with that. Whew! Now let's join top. Sorry, one more thing. Let's see what it's like on this. See? There. That's all it is. Just randomly check, make sure they're all flat like that. You know what I mean? It's 100 times better. It's not bad. You gotta go in anyway. There you go. You know what I mean? Look. Try that. So that pillar at the bottom is kicking out anyway, you can see that first, that brick has kicked out, it's not laid by me or anyone, someone else, I just went over the soldiers, so that's a problem you're going to get, oh no, what, 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 fall down? my level, I'm gonna go and take it please sir, no hi guys, bye bye, I love you, I go to school, bye. Don't worry, I'm not worried, I've got the best library. Yes, that's it. That gives me only one gift. Yes. And I must complete the library in the world. <laughs>